between jokes about Meghan Markle, Harry, Kate and William in Christmas Day speech, the Queen said her ever-growing family had been keeping her rushed off her feet with numerous high-profile weddings, births and announcements. The royal reflected on the family's highlights during her broadcast, which include the weddings of her grandchildren Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank. The busy year also includes the birth of Prince William and Kate's third child Prince Louis in April, as well as another great-grandchild with the birth of Zara and Mike Tyndall's second child Lena in June. Plus the Duke and Duchess of Sussex also announced they are expecting their first child. And the Queen's eldest son Prince Charles also celebrated his 70th birthday with a glittering party. Speaking in Buckingham Palace's white drawing room surrounded by photographs of her happy family during the milestone events, the Queen thanks the armed forces for their dedication and hard work, particularly those stationed overseas for Christmas. She added, closer to home, it's been a busy year for my family with two weddings and two babies and another child expected soon. It helps to keep a grandmother well occupied. She added, we have had other celebrations too, including the 70th birthday of the Prince of Wales. She also described the importance of having loved ones around her, through the many changes I have seen over the years, faith family and friendship have been not only a constant for me but a source of personal comfort and reassurance. And she offered words of comfort for those missing relatives or friends. At Christmas, we become keenly aware of loved ones who have died, whatever the circumstances. But, of course, we would not grieve if we did not love. The Queen also remembered her father, George VI reflecting on his service with the Royal Navy during the First World War and the role he played in the early years of the Commonwealth. Now aged 92, the Queen's reign as monarch has lasted 66 years and she has been married to the Duke of Edinburgh for more than seven decades. Sitting at a desk and with a Christmas tree in the background, she said, some cultures believe a long life brings wisdom. I'd like to think so. Perhaps part of that wisdom is to recognize some of life's baffling paradoxes such as the way human beings have a huge propensity for good, and yet a capacity for evil. Even the power of faith, which frequently inspires great generosity and self-sacrifice, can fall victim to tribalism. Showing how important her family is to her, the Queen sat next to a precious photograph of herself and husband Philip with a baby Prince Charles. Official photographs from Meghan and Harry's wedding and Princess Eugenie's wedding along with a family Christmas card photograph from the Cambridges sitting in the background. Prince Charles' official 70th birthday portrait stood pride of place next to the Queen along with an image of her father, George VI. The Queen hosted the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in London in April and she noted that eight states attended the first such gathering in 1948 and were welcomed by her father. She added that today the Commonwealth consists of 53 member countries with a combined population of 2.4 billion. She said, its strength lies in the bonds of affection it promotes, and a common desire to live in a better, more peaceful world. Even with the most deeply held differences, treating the other person with respect and as a fellow human being is always a good first step towards greater understanding. As head of state, the Queen remains publicly neutral when it comes to political matters and does not express her views on issues. But some commentators may interpret her words about respecting others who hold opposing views as a veiled reference to the toxic mood of the public debate around Britain leaving the EU. The broadcast was recorded on December 12 before Prime Minister and Jeremy Corbyn's angry comments clash which, with Brexit at its root, saw the Labour leader accused of calling Theresa May a stupid woman something he denied. After footage was shown of a thrilling RAF fly past, celebrating the Air Force's centenary by forming the number 100, the Queen aid, we owe them and all our armed services our deepest gratitude. She also acknowledged the sacrifices of the thousands of seamen who died fighting in the First World War Battle of Jutland in 1916 during which her father served as a midshipman. She said, the British fleet lost 14 ships and 6,000 men in that engagement. My father wrote in a letter, how and why we were not hit beats me. Like others, he lost friends in the war. The Queen concluded her broadcast by highlighting Jesus's message, often cited at this time of year. I believe his message of peace on earth and goodwill to all is never out of date. It can be heeded by everyone, 
It's needed as much as ever. A very happy Christmas to you all. With Parliament fundamentally divided over the way forward with Brexit and military conflicts still raging in parts of the world, the monarch's words are likely to resonate with many. The broadcast ended as it had begun, with singing from the choir of King's College, Cambridge, famous, as the Queen said, for its nine lessons and carols. They opened the festive broadcast by singing the national anthem and ended with the carol ones in Royal David City.